Okay, hey everyone. I today I'm going to show you how to create a throw physics slider type of thing app in Flash CS4. So to get started, I just created a ActionScript 3 blank file and added a circle, created, made it a movie clip, named it Circle, an instance name of Circle. I changed the size to 40, 400 by 400 pixels and the frame rate, frame rate to 40. And so in the actions code, basically I set a few variables for Vx for velocity x and Vy for velocity y, the speed at which the circle will be traveling when not being clicked on and the bx and by is just for before x and before y position offset x offset y for um, if you click on the circle and it's not in the direct center it won't cut over to the center so it it'll just be a lot smoother that way and if drag a boolean variable which will set to false to start off with so add a event listener circle to the, to the circle for mouse event mouse down and an event listener for when the mouse is up and just a standard loop event frame listener so on the function mouse down you'll set drag to be true and add another event listener for the mouse movement and set offset x and offset y to circle that x minus mouse x and circle dot y minus mouse y. So now mouse up, drag equals to false, of course, and re and you remove that one mouse move listener. In the mouse move function, you'll say that mouse or the circle dot x equals mouse dot at mouse x plus offset x. So basically, I'll run this and show you what I mean. Since the registration point for this circle is in the very center, um, if I clicked over here, it would chop to the center, but right now, since the offset's set, you see it doesn't really do that. I want to show you what I mean if this is not here. If I take this away, If I'm over here and I start to move, see how it moves to the center. So I'll just undo that. And so then I have an E that update after event. This makes sure the circle moves smoothly. You can't really tell in this video, but it does make it update a lot better. So in the loop function, we're we're testing whether it's being dragged. So if it's not being dragged, Circle that x plus equals vx. Circle that y plus equals vy. And then for friction, I'll just say vx divided by equals 1.1. Vy divided by equals 1.1. This really doesn't matter on this, these numbers, although the higher number they are, the quicker it'll slow down. But 1.1 is a pretty good speed. Then else, vx equals mouse x minus bx, vy equals mouse y minus by, and bx equals mouse x, and by equals mouse y. Now the bx and uh, by settings must be after these, otherwise it will not work. Okay, now we have just our restrictions on the, on the screen for, for when it's being dragged. So if the circle is too far to the left, it'll bounce back. Too far to the right, bounce back. Too far on top, bounce back. Too far on the bottom, it'll bounce back up. So basically, just simple code there. And so if we test it again, you'll notice that you can move it all around, and when you let go, you could like throw it, or just release it. If you throw it, you can throw it in all these different directions. It'll just bounce right back. It's pretty cool.
and like I said, if you change the friction to a slightly lower number, run it again, you'll notice that it takes a much longer to slow down. But this can be very customizable. So have fun. And thank you for watching.